Maybe she is a sex worker, or maybe they are swingers, or maybe it is exactly what it is. Two men on the street mauling a girl who's had more apple martini than her 105 pounds can hold. Maybe I am standing outside with my love hoping for a cab. Maybe I just can't stomach the foul way these men's hands take and take. How they return again and again to the curve of her ass. How she wobbles and swerves in her heels. Maybe it's a trigger this act of witness, their laughter and grope, how they wag their tongues. Maybe it isn't my concern. Maybe she wants it, but maybe she doesn't, and I can't unthink this. So my chest has become a fire alarm. It's Friday night, and I'm fat with glee because my brother, who is not really my brother, but my best friend, a man who could just as much be my brother as anyone with the same heart and blood, has tonight released his first book. Maybe we're a little loose on beer and celebration ourselves, and maybe my love and I are tired looking for a cab home after all this big joy, but here on the sidewalk, a girl so drunk she can't speak, and here these men stealing mouthfuls, filling their hands with breast and ass. Here, not one of the 20 bystanders pausing their good lives to consider this girl. I want to hurt these men. Maybe for myself retribution or some misguided justice, but my hunger for it is so warm, winter vanishes and I find myself waiting, no longer for a taxi, but an opening. It's now that she asks to sit, and they drag her to the bench beside me, and soon I catch her name in my mouth, Lena. It's here that I see my love's face. He knows I can ruin this night if I don't do something. Knows how I let cowardice weigh on my bones like a tumor. How tomorrow I will blame myself for doing nothing. So he whispers, say what you need to say. And no, I don't need his permission, but it's important to know that this won't bruise us. So her name comes off my lips like a kiss. Lena. My hand rests quiet on her shoulder. Lena. Her limp neck rolls upward and she's looking in my eyes so sweet. I know the gravity of this moment is lost on her. Right now, I am sister or mother as much as I am woman on the street. Lena doesn't know where she is, doesn't know why these men have so many hands. She is dulled numb and maybe it was too many cranberry vodkas, but Lena isn't asking for anything and I know I have to get her a cab home. In the soft pink of her smiling gums, I owe her this. She likes the feminine of my voice, so I keep talking. I am quiet, easy. We are connecting now, and if I can just have two more of her minutes, but this is where wolves become wolves. Maybe one man braces his arm against the brick to block my face. Maybe he talks to me thick with an aggression I cannot name but recognize like a hereditary sickness, the kind that turns a smooth cheekbone into blue welts, breathes a hot resentment when it hasn't been paid its due for the overpriced risotto or the extra bottle of wine, the kind that reeks of bourbon and entitlement. Maybe it is how hard I am ignoring him, how little he matters. Maybe it's because I too am a woman and what audacity for me to interrupt his good fun. The sneer on his face is turning rancid. His words go hostile and soon my love takes offense because this is no gentleman and all the while Lena with her glossy lips. I'm asking how she feels. If she knows where she is, does she want to go home? Can I get her a cab? Lena, listen, if I just, if I just want to make sure, but then there's a fist. Someone is cursing, and now I'm about to swing on a man for my love, and I drop my bag so I can swing because this is happening right now. This is real. There are men and fists, and here now they're dragging Lena away, and someone's holding me back, and maybe I'm screaming. Maybe I'm saying, no, Lena. Maybe I'm yelling at someone to let me go. Let Lena go. Don't let them take her. I'm screaming now. I know what they'll do. I know. I know what they'll do. I know. I know. And maybe I begin to sob. Maybe this is when I realize my bag is gone. Maybe this is when I punch the side window. Maybe I knock over a row of chairs. Maybe now my friends are fevered too because they spot a man running across Bowery with a lady's handbag, my bag. Now my love and our boys are a tornado of racing boots, but I don't know this. I'm inside breaking chairs and I don't know they're in chase. Don't know it is one of Lena's men running away with my bag. Don't know my friends are chasing him down First Street. Don't know he isn't fast enough. And they snatch the bag back, but my love is angry now, and this man is getting his due. 
I don't know that my love is landing fist after fist until the man wiggles loose, then is caught again and tries to fight, but maybe he is white, and I will tell you here that my friends are brown. I'm not there to hear one of them say, stop, let him go. We got her bag, and dude is white, and we all know how this looks. I don't know then how they hush, listen for sirens, scan the block for police, how then instead, Lena, here now, Lena, wobbling arm in arm with the first of her men, maybe she's delusional, claiming my bag is her bag, maybe she is so fogged by martini and brutes, she starts claiming my things are her things, my books, her books, even the one inscribed to Jinan, my sister, by the brother who is not my brother, maybe now her man understands sees his broken boy and a sidewalk full of brown men and a bag filled with another woman's living and Lena, fiery, drunk enough to lie for the men despite everything. Maybe now he knows this was never a game and I'm not there to hear him curse at Lena, to hear his shut the fuck up echo low and cold off the asphalt. I'm not there to watch Lena's eyes cloud over as the men I love like brothers turn their back.